Hello, and welcome to our A Shampoo Movie Studio Pro 3 video tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to trim the beginning and end of your videos, and how to cut out individual segments. We've called this feature Cut Commercials and designed it as a standalone tool accessible through the start page. But you can also use this feature from within the video editor, for example in expert mode, as briefly shown here. It is available through this icon and present in both simple and expert mode. But now, back to the start page, where I'll select Cut Commercials. You can then choose the video you wish to edit. Videos in the System Video folder are listed by default. Select your video and click Mark Cuts. The first and last 10 seconds of your video will be auto-selected for trimming. Drag the yellow markers to adjust the selections. To create a new selection, left-click the timeline to specify the start position, then indicate it by a marker. Use the arrow buttons to move the marker forward or backward by 10 or 15 frames. Click Add Cut to insert the new selection at the specified position. And drag the yellow markers to adjust its beginning or end. You can repeat these steps to create additional selections. Here is the full process once more from start to finish. Once you've marked the segments to be removed, click Select Format to specify the output format for your video. If you are unfamiliar with the properties of the various supported video formats, simply select the device your video will likely be played on. You will find a list of supported video formats under File Export. Other export options include Blu-ray, DVD and various online video portals. Afterwards, you'll have to select the desired video quality. The higher the quality, the bigger the file size. Note that the maximum available quality is defined by the device, portal, disk or file type you selected on the previous page. Use the slider to make your adjustments. The preview will help you determine the best quality to size ratio for your video. When you're done, click Select Target to proceed. You'll then have to specify a file name and output location for your video. Click Produce Project to render the file with your settings. That's it for today's video. We hope you'll enjoy using A Shampoo Movie Studio Pro 3. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Use the comment section to tell us what other programs and features you would like for us to cover next. Thanks for watching.